Chauchila Cemetery uh, is located 27 kilometers southeast from Nazca City. This cemetery is considered one of the most important cemeteries. It has a dimension of 2 kilometers long by 500 meters wide. It belongs to the last pre-Inca civilization that developed in Nazca area, to the Ica Chinchas, who developed in this area from 1,100 years to 1,470 years after Christ. Unfortunately, this cemetery was discovered by the grave robberies who destroyed part of this cemetery trying to find jewelry, poultry and textiles. It was rebuilt by the archaeologists. They protected the graves with a roof and walls. We can see original mummies, grave construction and fragments of poultry and textiles. At Chauchila Cemetery, we are going to see 12 graves. We are going to know more about the mummification system of this ancient civilization. We will see that the mummification system is not the same that the Egyptian, because the body of these mummies are completed how they could conserve so far is because they use different substances like salt to dry the body and cotton to absorb the liquid of their bodies. And the most important cause is the weather of this city. Nazca City has a dry weather that helps for the mummification and conservation of the bodies. We also see the position of the mummies, they are in fetal position because that is the way how we come to this life and it's going to be the same way to go to the other life. Around them we also see the offerings like food, vegetables that were left inside the grave to use them in the other life. We also see original construction of graves made with mud bricks and the roof was made with wood and mud. Gold extraction process. At the gold extraction process, we are going to see how the artisanal miners work inside the mines, trying to get a mineral with artisanal instruments. After getting the, the mineral, they bring this mineral to this place to begin with the process. We are going to see that they use machines to get in dust the rocks and then they continue working with the mortars mixing inside a mortar the mineral approximately 30 kilos with water and they are gonna use the mercury the mercury that is gonna get the gold 
from the minerals. They are going to separate the gold from the mercury during the amalgam. The amalgam that is 50% of gold and 50% of mercury. Uh, finally, they will place the amalgam to the fire. The mercury is gonna evaporate because the mercury is a liquid mineral and we are gonna get the gold, the gold that is a solid mineral. Pottery process. At the pottery process we are going to see how the artisans make the pottery with the same technique of the ancient Nazcas. Nazca pottery is considered the best pottery of South America. And here we are going to see why. The material that they used to make the pottery is the clean. The clean that we find in the farms, five, six meters from here. They are going to mix the clay with the water. Then they are going to clean the clay with a net because the clay contains little stones and roots. After that, we are going to mix with sand because when we paint the pottery, the sand is going to absorb the color. We get the shape of the pottery the globular shape with the two spout and the small bridge the typical Nazca pottery and then we paint and draw we see that the artist brushes that they used to draw and paint the pottery are made with baby hairs why baby hairs? because baby hairs are flexible and very fine. The colors we get from the minerals, minerals like manganesium, copper and iron. After drawing and painting we place the pottery to the oven. The pottery is going to be 14 hours in the fire. They place the pottery is in a pyramidal shape inside the oven, protecting with tiles. Over the tiles, they place the charcoal. After the 14 hours, they are gonna open the oven, removing the tiles, and and then they take the pottery you're gonna see the best pottery of South America. The original pieces, the colors and the drawings didn't erase so far more than 2000 years and they are still intact. That is for the technique that the ancient people used to make the pottery. Technique that we still use to make these pottery.